Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Panda family. In this video, I'll explain Maxwell's third equation for non-time varying electric field. And this Maxwell's third equation that is based on electric potential. And there are a few essential key concepts that I'll explain regarding Maxwell's third equation. As I have told you, Maxwell's third equation is based on electric potential. Let me explain how it is based on electric potential. Let us consider here we have one charge and that charge that is having value Q and because of this electric field, this charge is moving by this trajectory you can observe and because of this electric field, let us consider charge is coming over here. Here you need to understand few basics. See. Here this charge Q, let us consider this charge is having position vector Ra and finally this charge is coming at this location that is having position vector Rb. In my last video, I have explained electric potential and potential difference. What is potential difference? Potential difference is work done per unit charge. So here if you want to calculate potential difference, then potential difference VAB that is VB minus VA and that is work done per charge and that is minus of integration EDL where limit of DL that is ranging from RA to RB. So here we have RA and here we have RB as per limit that is ranging from RA to RB. So this is potential difference. In Maxwell's third equation, we need to consider motion of charge in closed loop. So here I will be considering motion of charge in closed loop. So this charge that is moving from Ra to Rb and after that again it is moving from Rb to Ra. Right. So this is a trajectory which is making closed path. So for closed path, what is potential difference? Let us consider that potential difference is delta V. So for closed path, that potential difference that is closed integration of EDL. And here you need to consider negative sign. Now what is this potential difference? So this potential difference that is from a to B that is VAB and from B to A it is VBA right. Now what is VAB? VAB that is minus integration from RA to RB EDL and what is VBA? VBA that is minus of integration where limit is ranging from Rb to Ra integration EDL. So VAB that is VB minus VA. VAB that is VB minus VA. And what is VBA? VBA that is VA minus VB. Right. So you will be observing this is getting cancelled and resultant is 0. What it means? It means for closed path integration of electric field that is 0. Right. So here see this statement says that for closed path integration of electric field with respect to line that is 0. Right. And this is applicable to non time varying field. Here, this electric field that is not changing with respect to time. Right. So, for closed path, line integration of electric field is 0. And this is Maxwell's third equation in integral form for non time varying field. Now, there are a few essential concepts that you need to understand. See what is potential difference. Potential difference is 
work done per unit charge so if you observe the basic definition of potential difference that is work done per unit charge so based on this equation what you can say based on this equation you can say work done for closed path is zero so for closed path with non time varying field work done is zero so work done per unit charge is potential difference right here we are talking about closed path for that you will be having line integration of electric field that is zero that we have derived based on that you can say for closed path with non time varying field work done is zero right now what i'll do is i'll explain you one more essential concept that is based on maxwell's third equation with differential form to understand maxwell's third equation in differential form here we need to convert line integration into surface integration for that we need to apply stokes theorem so what is stokes theorem stokes theorem explains relation in between line integration and surface integration so for closed path line integration of electric field that is curl of function here function is electric field surface integration right so this is stokes theorem stokes theorem explains relation in between line integration and surface integration here function is electric field so for closed path line integration of electric field is curl of function surface integration and here see this is zero right this is zero that i have explained so based on this you can say del cross e that is zero so this is maxwell's third equation in differential form or one can say in point form for non time varying electric field so remember here i have derived maxwell's third equation in point form or one can say differential form that is del cross e is equals to zero and integral form is line integration of electric field for closed path that is zero but this is for non time varying field only if you observe maxwell's third equation for time varying field then that is explained by faraday's law so in future coming videos what i'll do is i'll explain you faraday's law in which i'll establish this equation for time varying field right so for non time varying electric field for closed path line integration of electric field is zero that is maxwell's third equation in integral form and del cross e that is equals to zero that is for non time varying field right and based on maxwell's third equation what you can understand based on maxwell's third equation you can understand one thing see work done for closed path under non time electric field that is zero right so that is how basic concepts are there regarding maxwell's third equation in time varying field i'll explain that after explanation of faraday's law i hope you have understood this thank you so much for watching this video